Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I am going to show you how I set up a Crypto Hopper automated trading bot on the Binance Exchange. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is to add a new hopper. And as you can see, I have a couple Binance bots that have done fairly well in the past and uh, they wouldn't currently work in today's market so that's why I'm configuring a new bot so to do that we have to add a new hopper and so we just scroll down add a new trading bot is what we're looking to add so we're going to create a trading hopper and you'll end up on the screen where you can use their configure wizard which will be some preloaded bots or configure your hopper yourself and that's what we're going to do is configure the hopper ourselves. And the first tab you need to start working on will be the basic settings and you'll need to name your hopper and in this case i'm going to name it binance rsi bollinger band cross that's actually the rsi bbx is going to be the strategy i deploy on this particular bot i don't activate it until i'm actually ready to deploy it and then the exchange i'm going to choose is going to be binance and once I have my exchange selected, I will need my API keys from Binance. So we will jump over to Binance. And assuming you already have an account, if you don't, there's a link down below uh, that you can get started on your new Binance account. But we're going to assume you have one set up. And you'll need to go over to your account and API management. And from there, we need to create the API and i need, want to label this i'm just going to label it hopperbot and click create and now it needs an authentication code which i need to get on the phone to do that so bear with me and it looks like the authentication code is 5967032 and once the API has been created, you'll need to go to your email where they send you a confirmation. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And once you click on your email that you confirm the creation of the new API, you'll end up on a screen like this. So you just need to copy the API key and paste that under the Binance API key and the secret key which again you actually want to keep secret don't worry these are not actual keys i'm going to keep they will be gone by the time the video is uploaded but you copy your secret key and place it in the secret key spot and then the last item on this page is use ticker rate i'm going to go highest bid lowest ask and in this case i'm going to go ahead at this point and save the hopper and under notifications I have it to notify me only when there's a trade. All right, now the next tab we're gonna look at is the buy settings. The order type we're gonna select is gonna be market. I prefer that my bot actually be able to get in the moment the signal is sent, rather than trying to perhaps use a limit order, which would dictate maybe a lower or maybe even higher price. So I stick with a market order type when available and on Binance that's available. Maximum open buy time, I generally go with uh, four minutes. Uh, maximum open positions is going to be 15 as I'm only going to have 15 coins to trade due to the fact that the type of subscription that this bot will be deployed under will be the explorer and the explorer only allows me to have a maximum of 15 coins so if you don't have a crypto hopper subscription again link down below but for most people starting out the explorer will be fine the only advantage of jumping up to the adventure in my opinion is the faster time interval of five minutes versus 10 minutes now on binance i don't generally find that to be an issue but like on Bittrex or an exchange where you might not have as much volume that can be an issue but in this case I'm deploying an Explorer subscription with this particular bot and therefore I'm only choosing 15 maximum open positions because I only want one position open per coin so in that case I'm going to change that to a number that will achieve one maximum open position per coin 
And with cooldown period, I do occasionally enable it. In this situation with this particular strategy, I should not require the cooldown period as I am buying as the market is moving back up. And most of the time I use the cooldown period when the market is a uh, falling knife and I don't want to try to catch that knife. Uh, this strategy generally helps avoid that. And if we come on down, only open one buy order per coin. That's correct. I don't want to have multiple buy orders uh, per coin. I don't care if there's positive pairs or not. And I don't need to auto merge positions as I'm only going to have one coin uh, position at a time anyway. Uh, let's jump to the coin amounts. Our base currency will be BTC. Uh, allowed coins. Now... I do get questions on how do I choose what coins to trade, especially when I'm limited to only 15 in this case. And simple answer is I do my recon. Uh, but if you want to see how I do my recon real quickly, I first start out on coin market cap. If I'm not familiar with what coins trade very well on a particular exchange, I do require a certain amount of volume for a coin. To be valid for me to even trade if there's no volume sure i can buy it but doesn't mean i'm going to be able to get rid of it when i want to whether it's a losing or a winning position i want to be able to get out as quickly as possible and the way to do that is volume and in this case we're trading on the btc pair and the very first one that actually shows up is ethereum which i know there's going to be plenty of volume you can see 30 million dollars worth of volume in a 24-hour period and then as we scan on down, we see Link and Matic will be added. I don't do Binance Coin as I hold that currently because it helps reduce the fees uh, when I'm trading on that platform. So I won't actually trade it at, in my bot. Uh, XRP. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the coins I've actually added over in the hopper. But before I do, this is just one step of my recon. The other step is... I do back testing on all these coins. Now, most of these coins I day trade, so I kind of know how they're going to perform based on my hopper strategy anyway. But I also always do some back testing, and I'll also look at the actual charts on TradingView and see how the coin performs according to the strategy I'm going to deploy. So let's jump over to Crypto Hopper, and you can see I added EOS, ETH, LTC, LINK, uh, Zcash, Engine. Uh, Cardano or ADA, ICX, XLM, OMG, XTZ, Theta, BCH, Matic, and 0x. Those are the 15 coins that I found to work best with this strategy and be in the top volume on this particular exchange. So the minimum BTC amount per order, I'm going to require it to be 0 0.01 and I'm going to allocate 0.16 Bitcoin, which is about $1,500. So let's jump on over to strategy. And the one I'm actually going to use is one that I have created based on RSI and Bollinger Band crossing over. So what I'm going to be looking for is when the RSI becomes oversold, and in this case I set it at 20, and it hits down below the oversold mark, I want it to cross back above at the same time utilizing Bollinger Bands for the same purpose of breaking through the Bollinger Band and approaching back above. It requires both crosses in order to execute a buy. And this should be indication that this oversold momentum has reversed and is now going back in my direction. And so that is kind of what that strategy is designed around. And you can create those strategies under the Strategy tab. That is where I actually created my RSI Bollinger Band cross. And if we take a quick look at it, you can see the settings I have for the RSI uh, is 15 minute candles, period of nine, oversold threshold of 20, and I want it to be in the signal range. And I'll keep the signal for 10. And then on the Bollinger Bands, I'm doing, again, the 15-minute candles on close, uh, 20 period, 2, 2, 
and I'm using the EMA for 10 candles. I will do a video that goes more in depth into creating a strategy. Uh, so be sure to subscribe now so when that video comes out you get notified. So I think you have to ring the bell to get notified. But let's jump back over to the base configuration. I certainly am not going to uh, do any signals. You've all seen my video on that. You know my opinion of those signals. And then the number of targets to buy, I put at nine. That basically means if I, like when the market just crashed earlier today, everything fell about 4%. Everything would have been pretty much targeted. There's a few exceptions, but everything would have sent a buy signal. And I don't necessarily want to buy all 15 at once. Uh, I max it out at nine. I think the max is actually 10. So I choose nine and that I've never actually had nine hit. I think the most I've ever had hit is six or seven at once. And that was including today when everything dumped. Uh, trailing stop by. Normally I would deploy this because it allows you to wait until the position's moving back in your direction. But my strategy basically does that. So I'm not going to deploy the trailing stop by uh, as in it would probably actually just give away more of my profit because it should already be moving in my direction. Uh, sell settings. I take a profit at 2.49% on this strategy with a market order. And maximum open sell time of four minutes. Never had um, Binance an issue selling almost immediately on a market order. Sell strategy. I'm not basing it on my strategy. I'm actually going to base it on a trailing stop loss. But before we get there, stop loss. Now, trading without a stop loss is like going into a battle without armor. Uh, you might get away with it, but eventually you're going to get killed. So I set my stop loss at 0.70%. I find that if I go any lower than that, I get slippage and it ends up being around this number anyway. Anything higher and at that point my risk versus reward ratio doesn't really work for me. And so we'll go on to trailing stop loss. This is what I'm going to actually use as my strat exit strategy on this particular uh, bot. And I'd like my stop loss percentage, which basically means how far am I willing to let it move against me before actually selling, is going to be 0.49%. And my actual stop loss will arm once we hit a 2.49% profit. And by giving up that 0.49%, the minimum I'm hoping to profit would be 2%. But at the same time, as long as it doesn't move back more than 0.49% on me, doesn't move against me that much, this can go up to whatever, you know, 6, 7, 8, 9%. And so that's why in this particular strategy I'm going with the trailing stop loss and I am only selling based on that and I do want it to reset if for some reason it fails to uh, sell but I chose coins that have a lot of volume and they almost always sell immediately and I don't ever sell only based on profit I mean that's not realistic I not even sure why that feature exists. And then I don't do auto close, short selling on this spot I won't be doing, and dollar cost averaging. We know that's a loser. And so we'll hit save. And yes, continue. Now I don't have any pools in this particular situation. All my coins are going to run based on the 15 minute candles so there won't need be a need to configure any pools and so with that being said a quick recap i named my bot i chose the exchange of binance and then my api keys notification on trade only buy settings that's supposed to be market with a buy time of four this is why we go through one extra time Positions of 15. I must have missed a save somewhere. And max percentage of open. I want it to equal to one open position per coin. Good thing I did a recap here. Uh, I'm not going to enable the cooldown. Only one open 
buy order per coin and coin amounts the base currency is BTC we've got my 15 coins here selected as you can see and we're going to basically do a 9% percentage with 0 0.01 as the minimum Bitcoin amount allowed per order and I'm allocating 0.16 Bitcoin and at current price around 9500 that's $1,500 strategy was my RSI Bollinger Band Cross trailing stop buy is not enabled my sell settings I put them in there but the reality is it's going to use a trailing stop buy sell strategy no I'm not selling based on my strategy stop loss trailing stop loss is how I'll take profit and we'll hit save one more time and we'll be good to go now we'll jump back to the basic settings make this a live bot go to the dashboard and that's this tab over here and we'll enable the hopper it should get my balance over here and I like to start with everything being zeroed out so I can actually keep track of how everything is progressing so I'm going to copy this figure here and plug it in here hit submit and hopefully that zeroes everything out so now we're at zero and we're at zero so everything is zeroed out hopper is enabled and it will start searching for targets and once we start finding some targets we'll start seeing some trades so i'll do an update video in the future so again good reason to subscribe and i'll show you how this bot is performing in a future video if you like this video do me a favor and spike that like and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them down below i try to read all the uh, comments I don't always see them all it doesn't always alert me of all the comments but I do my best to uh, answer all the comments that you all are leaving and until next time remember do your recon before you send your money into battle see you in the next video